Oh, just look at that. Oh, no work at all. That is perfectly cooked beef madras. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today, beef madras. We're not going to make it B.I.R. style. We're going to make it in a crock pot. But we have to make a curry paste to start off with to put in the crock pot with our beef and then we can leave it to cook for five hours. Let's show you how to make this crock pot beef madras. Come on. Okay guys, what we're going to do, we're going to actually make a bit of a curry paste. So we want a bit of oil in a pan. Okay. A decent amount of oil really. And then we want to go in with some onion. Now this is one onion which I've diced up small. And we want to be adding about two tablespoons of garlic ginger paste. And all we're going to do is just cook that a little bit, take some rawness out of there. Now we are going to make a paste so we don't have to be frying this off in super hot oil. We just want to cook that rawness out. In with a good pinch of salt guys. Okay, now let's start building up our paste. A couple of tablespoons of curry powder, bog standard curry powder, garam masala, cumin, coriander, methi, black pepper, a whole bunch of chili powder, because we're making a madras, don't forget. So this has to be a little bit warm. So stir that in there. A little splash of water because we don't want to burn this. And then in with two good heaped tablespoons of tomato puree. Wow. Little tad more water. Apple cider vinegar. Now you can use more vinegar if you want. <coughs> oh, but apple cider vinegar does the job, you know. Does a very good job, actually. Now we've got a good basis for a a decent paste there. So just keep it moving. We don't want to burn this. Flame not too high. Right, we're going in there with some beef stock. Just cook that in there till it loosens up and all comes together. Now it's going to go to quite a thick paste actually because of all the ingredients we've got in there. Fabulous. That is fabulous. I'm going to add a little bit of coriander in there now. So I'm going to get that in there because we're going to blend all this, blend all these onions and everything together in the blender. That's it guys, flame off. We need to put this to one side. Let it cool a minute and then we'll blend it. So what we're going to do, we're going to add our paste to this blender. 
Now, of course, cooking five hours, you don't have to blend it if you don't want. You know, the onions and everything will dissolve in there and cook perfectly okay. But I just like to make a little bit of a gravy for the meat to sit in as it's cooking. A good couple of tablespoons of Worcester sauce. Add our canned tomatoes. And then we're going to give this a blitz. On we go, wrong way round as usual. Okay, pan on, bit of oil in. Now what we're going to do, you can use cubed up beef, you can use anything you can get your hands on. You know, or you can cube it up yourself. Now what I've got is what they call beef trimmings. And to be honest, it looks absolutely horrendous. So in the pan with our beef trimmings. And all we're going to do guys is just put a little bit of colour on this. That's all. We're not trying to cook it. As such. Little, little bit of salt because we've already got salt in our paste. A pinch of pepper. Now we're not bothered about it being a little pinch of pepper. It's a pinch of pepper. You know, we're making a madras with this beef, so if the pepper's in there and gives that a bit of warmth, it doesn't matter. Now, this is what they call beef trimmings, like I say, guys, you know. So, to be slow cooked in the slow cooker, this will be absolutely perfect. It doesn't matter what cut of meat they've shoved in here. It looks like chuck end and all sorts in here. There's a lot of fat, a lot of fatty meat. And what you can do guys, if you want to brown this all over, you can brown it if you want. All I'm doing is just putting a little bit of a sear on there. Seal it up, seal in that, that flavour inside there. And it'll cook out when we slow cook it. That'll do I reckon. We've got a nice bit of juice in there, look, as well. We can transfer to our slow cooker. Flame off. All we need to do now is put that in our slow cooker. Straight in our slow cooker with all that juice. Then all we need to do is tip in our paste. I'll do a reckon. And a bit of a stir in. Stir that in there. Oh, fabulous. On with the lid, guys. And let's turn it on. Okay, we're going to cook this in this slow cooker for about five hours. And it should be absolutely perfect. So, see you in five hours. Oh, let's have a look in here. Oh, just look at that. That is one fantastic beef madras. Oh, that is amazing. All we have to do now is serve some up. Now that is what I call beef madras. Beef madras made in the crock pot. Oh, just look at that. Oh, no work at all. That is perfectly cooked beef madras. That is really amazing. 
that really is fantastic oh that's how to make beef madras guys beef madras in the slow cooker Whew, a little bit spicy fantastic madras flavor you know all the way through there with that little bit of sourness that is a perfect beef madras that really is awesome actually i love my curries this beef madras has got it all a little bit of sour it's got the beef in there tender it really does taste like a madras a little bit of sour a little bit of heat that is fantastic guys if you like what we're doing smash that like and subscribe share with your friends all that kind of stuff i want to fill my fat face that is truly amazing <laughs>